Okay, so we've tested the cable that's going to be running to our camera, and it's passing for one gig. And that camera that's at the end of this camera run, or this cable run, is uh, a PoE camera. So let's bring in the patch cord from the PoE switch and patch it in. So I'm going to disconnect my NetExpert XG on this side. And now I've patched in a PoE source. Let's go back over to the end of the cable. And let's test for PoE. Connect directly into the XG. Go to the menu, pull up tools, and I'm going to choose port discovery. And I'm just going to hit start. Okay, a lot of details here on this screen. I get the mode of PoE, including the pinout, so pins 1, 2, and 3, 6. I get the polarity, 1, 2 are negative and 3, 6 are positive. I get the type of PoE, so 8023AT, which is PoE plus, 25 watts. Power class, voltage at minimum load, voltage at maximum load. Of course, there's PoE available here. And it also tells me that the switch itself is capable of either 1 gig or 100 meg. And uh, essentially, I'm ready now to connect to my PoE device, which is the camera, and I can configure it. Okay, so we've tested the link. We've tested the switch at the other end of the link. I'm just going to go ahead and connect the PoE device. And you can see, obviously, from the, display or from the uh, status indicators that we've got a camera that's on.